Hello Aries and welcome back to my channel. Whether you are in Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, these messages are for you. If you are a single Aries or if you are an Aries that you feel you are not in a twin flame soulmate connection, you feel that perhaps the connection you're in with now may not be the one, then these messages are for you. For those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Lexa Tarot, and I am a second degree Reiki practitioner as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. And I channel free messages here for all of those who are subscribed to my channel, for all those that visit my channel. So I want to thank each and every one of you, my subscribers, my new viewers and visitors alike for your love, for your support and your loyalty to our channel. I greatly appreciate it. Please continue to give me those thumbs up to like, share, and subscribe so that I can continue to bring you these free messages. Now, if you haven't done so already, please turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out on my live streams or the new content that I upload constantly <laughs> or consistently. I'm always uploading some type of messages here that I want to share with each and every one of you. All right. Um, Aries, let's find out here what, or I should say, how is fate aligning you with your soulmate? Okay. Now you do see here that I do have the wheel of fortune here right next to me, because as I always say, where your mind goes, energy flows. So we're going to hear, we're going to, um, I'm aligning myself with this energy of the wheel of fortune, right? How is fate aligning you with your soulmate? Let's see here. Aries, how this may resonate with you. The end of a tough cycle approaches. So for some of you here, fate is aligning you with your soulmate. The moment you close a chapter, okay, the moment you close a chapter that isn't working for you. Now, this could be, as I said, at the top of the reading, you could be a singles Aries, or you could be an Aries in a connection, but you feel that there is a lack of compatibility, right? So when you are either A, um, either kind of like over the healing process of a last relationship or have healed yourself enough from a prior relationship, or for those of you who are in a connection, but it isn't, um, as I said before, it isn't, there isn't this compatibility that you're feeling when you end or walk away from that connection. I feel here that there is this transition of healing of finding yourself, taking a moment uh, to reconnect and realign your energy, and then start moving forward into a new chapter. Okay. Now it says here, full moon Capricorn. So I'm, I'm getting here that it could be either one of two things. It, this could happen during a Capricorn season or th the, uh, you know, the energy of this person that may be of being in alignment with you may be either a, an earth sign, which a Capricorn is. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or this person could be a Capricorn. Now this person may have this earth energy, either in their sun, moon, rising Venus, or they could have a very heavy chart, uh, uh, focusing on the earth signs. Okay. So that is coming through here for you. For others of you, there could be here different placements in your birth chart. So maybe you, um, Aries, somewhere in your chart, there may be, look at this, clean it up. Yeah, exactly what I was saying here. Very interesting. Two similar animals here. Uh, you have the sea goat here, and then you have what looks like a deer or a moose here. So both having antlers here. So yeah, so it, you know, again, so it could be on your chart. You may have your sun, moon, rising Venus, or maybe have a lot of earth in your birth chart. Okay. So this is what's coming through for, uh, for you here. You also have here, clean it up. This is validation confirmation. How is fate aligning you to your soulmate? Yeah. When you have either a, um, tied up any loose ends, in regards to your love life, in regards to your healing process. Um, or when you have felt, or when there is this sense here, especially, let me see what else I'm getting here. When it's like, kind of like when you get yourself or your energy. So this is, this could be your mindset, your heart, your emotions, your energy. Okay. 
um, kind of like liberated or cut from anything that may be holding you down. It's like cleaning out the junk, right? But the junk could be symbolizing here the heartache, the pain, um, whatever residual energies may be attached to a prior relationship. Or if you are in a current connection here that it isn't really working out for you, it could be that as well. So when you free yourself or you liberate yourself from that energy, I feel here then there is the sense of a new beginning because you cannot add something new to a cup that's full of things that no longer serve you. Okay. Now here with the other one, look at this. You have wave of power, a surge of power, upswing in energy exhilarating movement. When you have liberated yourself or healed yourself from a phase or transition or a prior connection here, there's this new wave, new emotion, new kind of like I'm getting here, like a reset button. Okay. There's this clean slate type of energy around you. And then you will be more in alignment with where or how you're going to move forward in regards to your love life. Look at this rapid development, excellence, and success. Yeah. There's a sense of rapid movement. As long as you are in the energy of healing yourself, really working on yourself, being able to, um, in a way, release yourself from jaded energy, from low, uh, you know, low self-esteem, um, or self-sabotaging thoughts or fears. I feel here for you, Aries, there is this sense of a new um, energy, a new cycle, a new time, a new season here for you, where again, there's this sense of liberation here for you. It's like rising up from the ashes and allowing yourself to really um, be in this energy of feeling self-independence, self-contentment, okay, feeling a sense of self-satisfaction in your independence, in your decisions, liberating yourself from these residual energies and really, um, giving the universe that kind of wink back and saying, you know what, I am ready. And you know, here I am. Look at this. We just flipped over the King of Cups with the Three of Swords. Exactly what I just said. There's a sense here of you liberating yourself, getting away from the Three of Swords energy. This emotional pain, sadness, hurt, separation, breakup, divorce, divorce, detachment here from your own heart chakra. And when you find yourself, and look at this, is right under clean it up. When you clean up or when you kind of lift up the, the, the gunk, right? or cut yourself off from, or release yourself from, all these uh, lower vibrational energies, this sense of talking about the past, or talking bad about love, or viewing love as um, something that you're saying, like, I, I want to meet my soulmate, but then you're not doing the work in order to get yourself prepared for that beautiful next phase of compatibility, with that soul to soul recognition and that kinder spirit, right? So again, this King of Cups is not looking, look at this. This King of Cups is not looking at the Three of Swords. It's like, I'm not paying attention to this emotional pain, sadness, and hurt, separation, breakup, or divorce. I'm looking at the rapid development. I'm looking at the excellence, the success of this new connection or this next connection that's coming in to my energy field, okay? That I am attracting with positivity. Wave of, of power here. Again, King of Cups is looking here at the wave of power. And also it's looking here at the end of this cycle, uh, a tough cycle approaches. So very much here aligned with what I've been channeling here for you. Okay, Aries, let's find out how else is fate aligning you with your soulmate? How is fate aligning Aries with their soulmate here, their compatible partner? All right, last but not least, we have here for you boundaries. Now I'm going to read this card. It says, in what specific areas of my life am I lacking boundaries? What might be possible if I learned to protect my energy and honor my needs? Is there something or someone I need to say no to? In creating boundaries, I am making room for healthy and life-giving relationships. I mean, 
talk about validation confirmation here, Aries. I hope these messages have resonated with you. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up to like, share, and subscribe. And click here on the Lexa Tarot logo to be part of the Lexa Tarot family. Click down here and up here for more messages, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.